Okay, we have our document open, but we have a problem. It's mostly empty. Empty document, not good. Let's look at how we can get some text in here, and then edit it and format it. The main tool in InDesign for manipulating text is the Type tool. That's the one in the tool panel over here, the one with a T on it. The Type tool lets me do two things in InDesign. It lets me create text frames, that is, frames that are going to contain text, and it also lets me edit the text inside those frames. So, first, I'm going to take that Type tool, and I'm going to drag out a rectangle on my page. When I let go of the mouse button, you'll see that the Type tool created a text frame, and the text cursor is flashing inside of here. So, I can go start typing now if I want. Now, in this case, I don't want to type all the text that I want to put in this frame, so I'm going to delete that by selecting it and then hitting the Delete key. Instead, I want to place text from my hard drive. And I can place a text file, or a Word file, or an, even an RTF file with fully formatted text inside any text frame. To do that, I go to the File menu and choose Place. Then I choose the file that I want to import, in this case it's this brochure intro.rtf file, and I'll click Open. When I click Open, all of the formatted text is placed inside the text frame. Now, over here on the right side of my page, I have an empty text frame, so I can click on that and place text inside of here by typing in it. I'd kind of like this text to be in all caps, but instead of typing it over in all caps, I'm just going to select it by dragging over it, and then I'll go up to the Control Panel. The Control Panel is this panel across the top of the screen, and this lets you control all of your formatting both object and text formatting. So to make this text all caps, I'm just going to click on the All Caps button. When I click on that, the text becomes all caps, but it's not really all caps, it just looks that way. I'll click again and you'll see it goes back. It's all caps formatting. Let's turn that back on. Now let's change the color of a single word. I'm going to double click on the second word, Design, to select it. Then I'll choose a fill color from the middle of the control panel. This pop-up menu next to the orange T is the Fill pop-up menu. When I click on that, up comes this list of all the color swatches from this document. I'll talk about color swatches and how to create new ones in a later chapter. In this case, I'm simply going to click on this blue swatch, and then click down here, and you'll see that the text is now blue. I'll make one more little text formatting change here. I'm going to select some text, maybe this last sentence at the end of this text frame down here, and I'm going to make it italic. To do that, I'll go back to my control panel, and the second pop-up menu on the left is the Font Style menu. I could either choose Italic from this menu, or I could press Command-Shift-I or Control-Shift-I. Either of those things make that sentence Italic. Now, as you can see, there are many other features in the control panel for formatting text. InDesign is a text and typography powerhouse, and I'm going to be covering lots more about text in later chapters. Now, this document is starting to come together, but you know what Shakespeare would say about this. Words, 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 bring on the pictures. Okay, hold on, Will, that's where we're headed next.